Well, I don't know if you're like me, sometimes wearing a motorcycle helmet and putting the comms on. So I got my helmet right here. There's a comm on my helmet right there, which means that I had to wire my headphones into here, which means I had to pull the padding out. And every time you pull your padding out and pop it back in, it doesn't seem to go back in right and nothing seems to fit well like it did before. And it becomes kind of a pain. So install is a nuisance. The sound on these, okay, they're good. And communications, you know, if you have a Senna or if you have a whatever this one is or brand A versus brand B, do they connect? I can only connect two people up. This one can connect four but can't connect with this. So what do you do? What do you do? Well, there might be another option. Check this out right after this. biggest issues I know that I have and my wife Mary has with a lot of these intercom communication devices that you get for your helmets is that I like to get my helmet for one fairly tight. I like to have it fairly tight so it doesn't have a lot of movement in it. Um, I find that that's probably going to be a little safer. Now because of that when I have to actually put headphones inside that come with a lot of these comms I find that they actually put a little bit of pressure on my ears. And because of that I don't like riding with them for too long. And some of them end up hurting, some of them aren't too bad. But again, you know, I have to kind of get my hands in my helmet and try to adjust everything just to see if I can get it to fit the way that I'd like it to fit. There's a company that is now on Indiegogo. And what's cool about them for number one is that they are a Canadian company. It looks like they're out of Toronto, which is excellent. They are using, it looks kind of like a bone conductive technology. It is called the Domeo Pro. Cool. They made a Domeo before, which was strictly audio. So again, it was something that you just mount to your helmet and it would actually conduct sound through the shell of your helmet, just like bone conductive headphones would do so that it turns your helmet basically into a big speaker. Let's actually take a look at their promo video, shall we? I think we shall. Hey. That's what do you think? Crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so good. We are Domeo Sports, the company behind the top rated helmet audio system, Domeo. After having successfully launched and shipped our first product worldwide, we're here with our second product, the all new Domeo Pro. The inspiration behind Domeo was simple. With our love for music and outdoor sports, we struggled to find an audio product that worked well when wearing a helmet. Many didn't sound very good, and all were uncomfortable. But most of all, we never felt safe using any of them. They blocked our ears from hearing the outside environment, cutting off a vital sense when we needed it most. When we couldn't find something, we built it. A device that mounts to the outside of the helmet, but transfers sound into the helmet using a technology called microvibration. We adapted this technology to transfer the full spectrum of audio frequencies into the helmet, resulting in a powerful and rich surround sound experience without blocking the outside environment. That was back in 2016. Fast forward to today, and we've grown to a team of nine, sold and shipped thousands of Domeos worldwide, received five-star reviews, and worked with top-tier partners in manufacturing, electronics, and marketing. Our die-hard customers kept telling us how much better Domeo would be with one important addition, voice communication. So we decided to do something about it. The Domeo Pro features our new fully wireless air mic, a state-of-the-art, beam-forming, noise-canceling microphone that delivers seamless connectivity and voice clarity. The device and mic mount to the helmet using our snap-in helmet mounts, backed by the toughest 3M adhesive, so they stay on no matter how hard you ride. We put hundreds of hours into carefully designing and testing the Domeo Pro, and now we're ready to kick off production. So join us today and be the first to ride with a Domeo Pro, a game changer in helmet audio and communication. So one of the things that 
doesn't get shown in the promo video is anything about the communication side. And this was something that really was curious to me because this was one of the reasons. I don't listen a lot to music when I am writing. I like to use my headset for phone calls, to get GPS navigation, uh, and to communicate with Mary or somebody else when I'm writing with somebody else. I find that's kind of the reason that I use an intercom slash headset. So how does this work? So I reached out to them to find out. And just so you guys know, because I think it's important for you guys to kind of understand how the communication side works. Number one is that the headset or the piece that's mounted to your helmet, I don't really want to call it a headset because it's not really inside or anything like that. The piece that's mounted to your helmet, which is doing the, which is creating the sound and the microphone, cool, is connected to your phone via Bluetooth. So you have to have a phone for the communication or intercom aspect to work. Now again, when I talked to them, their explanation was that up to 10 riders could talk to each other. This was a recent add-on through their app. Now the app is not available yet. It will be released, I'm sure, when the first products are released, which is supposed to be based on what Indiegogo says in November. Here's what we know. 10 riders, cool. 10 riders, that's a lot. Bluetooth to your cell phone. So iPhone, Android, I'm guessing both platforms, I'm hoping, would be compatible. And within the app, you would use that to connect and let the device know which other riders you are currently connected with. So it's almost like having a live phone. You'll be able to use it either in a push to talk type format or it turned on all the time so it's just listening for when there is actual voice to transmit. Is this using data? 100%, this will be using data. But they have said that it is a very low amount of data. Of course, it's only gonna be transmitting when there is something to transmit. So that's cool. But here's the perk. Now, this is something that we've seen some of the other brands kind of getting into with their app, is that because it is going over cellular data, there is no distance limiter on it. So I could literally be talking to someone that is 100 kilometers away on my comm. I could be listening to someone that's 20 feet away on my comm up to 10 people, unlimited distance, as long as everybody has cellular data. Now, of course, this means that if you go through a dead zone, you are not gonna be able to talk. This also means that if you're someone like me who is also here in Canada, that if you cross into the States, for instance, and you start to roam, you either have to have a roaming plan or you may get dinged a little bit because there is data being used. Cool? I still think so. We're gonna try to get a set of these so that we can try them out. Now, are we gonna be able to try them out before the winter comes around this year? I don't know. November, winter, mm, they're kinda, you know, fighting with each other. Some Novembers I get to ride, other Novembers that is a no. So we will see. Either way, when we get them, I will make sure to at least test them out for you guys. And then of course, we'll go for a ride when the snow decides to go away. I'm gonna put a link down to the Indiegogo site for them. If you would like to get some more information, go visit the Indiegogo site. If you'd like to possibly get a pair, they are on discount right now, which is great. So go down there, you can get a set for, it's in US dollars. I think they're starting at around $150, $160 for a single, about $280 for a dual pair. So could be cool. I'm gonna give them a try. Have a good one, my friends. Like, comment, share, and Subscribe, and as always, we will see you in the next video. Later.